Corgis are today one of the most popular dog breeds. They have taken social media by storm with their cute butts, and are winning the hearts of pet lovers everywhere. However, there's more to this adorable furball than meets the eye. At Pet Advice Channel, we uncover 10 curious secrets of the corgi that may surprise you. There are actually two corgi breeds in existence, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. The most notable difference is that the Pembroke does not have a tail. The ears of cardigans are rounded, while that of the Pembrokes are generally pointy. Cardigans are also slightly bigger than Pembrokes and can come in any color. On the other hand, the only accepted colors for the Pembrokes are red, sable, fawn, black, and tan, with or without white markings. The Cardigan Corgi is the older of the two breeds and descended from the Teckle family of dogs, which also produced the short-legged Dachshund. The breed is believed to have been in existence in Wales for over 3,000 years. It was brought in Aboriginal form by the Celtic tribes who migrated to Wales from Central Europe. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is the most popular corgi breed today and the one we will focus on from now on in this presentation. While not as old as the cardigan breed, they are no new kids on the block either. As to how they arrived in Wales, one theory has it that Vikings brought the Pembroke Spitz-type ancestors with them as they sailed across the Channel, to reside in Wales around 1107 AD. There, in their new home, their ancestors interbred with the local cardigans to produce a lineage that resulted in the Pembroke Welsh Corgi breed. From the time the breed sprung up in Wales, the Pembrokes must have made quite an impression, as they eventually became part of the local mythical folklore. In one of the stories, fairies rode corgis to battle against rival fairy tribes. The truth, however, is more down to earth, literally speaking, as we shall see in a moment. From their diminutive looks, you probably would not have guessed that the Pembrokes were actually herding dogs. Specifically, they were bred to work with cattle and kept them moving by nipping at their hooves. Being ultra short-legged also meant that they could hustle without getting themselves kicked at by those bovines. We can't discuss corgis without mentioning one of their greatest fans, Her Royal Majesty the Queen. Queen Elizabeth II's lifelong passion for corgis dates back to 1933, when her father King George VI, bought the family their own Pembroke corgi, named Dookie. Since then, she's owned more than 30 corgis, though she stopped breeding them in 2015. According to Town and Country magazine, the dog's meal times, much like those of their owner, are characterized by the strict protocol in which dogs are served in order of seniority while their dinner is presented on silver trays. As mentioned earlier, the original ancestor of the Pembroke Welsh is a Spitz-type dog. This makes them closely related to Siberian Huskies. One of the characteristics of the Spitz family of dogs are their thick fur and pointed ears and muzzle. Trivia, both breeds have mixed to produce a new breed called the Siborgi. Despite their small size, corgis contain a big bark. This is due to their background in herding cattle where they had to battle to make themselves heard to their owners, amidst all the mooing and stampeding din. This characteristic also makes them ideal watchdogs, as one high decibel bark from them will certainly wake up the entire household in event of a home intrusion. The minds of dog breeds from the herding family are also known to be sharp. They are usually independent self-starters who handle tasks without much instruction. This quality absolutely applies to the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Out of 110 breeds ranked by Canine IQ of Working and Obedience Intelligence, the Pembroke came in 11th. 
Don't be fooled by their size either, as corgis, like their herding brethren, love to be kept busy. On the flip side, people who are considering owning a corgi will need to be aware that this breed requires plenty of physical activities and mental stimulation. While this breed is renowned for its furry tailless butts, Pembrokes are actually born with tails, which are docked off when they are a few days old. Just to meet breed standards. This tradition goes back to their cattle herding days when owners had to remove their tails for safety reasons. However, the good news is that tail docking on pets has been banned in the United Kingdom, Australia, and much of Europe. Beware of oncoming corgis, as their herding background has wired them for incredible bursts of speed. Corgis have been recorded to run as fast as 25 miles per hour. They do this by relying on their upper body strength than other breeds of dogs. There are plenty of corgi racing events every year, and even a corgi racing society that keeps track of them. So there you have it, these are the 10 secrets, or shall we say, open secrets of the corgi. Fans have long admired the breed for its energy and brains. And, of course, how cute they are. But you already knew that. Well if you can keep up, a corgi's definitely for you. What do you think viewers? Are there other interesting details about the corgi that we have left out? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this presentation, please hit the like button and subscribe. We upload new content weekly.